interactive panel on the influence of the Middle East gifting culture and its impact on corporate behavior. Hello everyone and welcome to the panel discussion on the influence of Middle East gifting culture and its impact on corporate behavior. We are honored to bring together a panel of industry leaders and experts who will share their insights and experiences into the captivating topic. The Middle East gifting culture holds a rich and profound history, reflecting tradition, hospitality, and the significance of meaningful exchanges. This panel's aim is to explore the complexities and nuances of this cultural practice, particularly in the context of corporate behavior and the business landscape. Throughout our discussion, our panelists will delve into key subtopics such as the transformation and changes in the Middle East gifting culture, emerging trends, sustainability in gifting practices, the emotional significance of gifts in the Middle East context, and the influence of gifting culture on corporate behavior. So, we're going to start first with Mr. Mahmoud. We'll start with Mr. Mahmoud. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, so Mr. Mahmoud, what are your observations on the corporate gifting market in general? And why do you think corporate gifting is becoming increasingly popular? Hi, everyone. Yeah. My observation for the gift item is to more to sustainability product. Because right, right now, like everyone, like you know, for the cycle product, I'm safe and okay. And uh, it's Staying more, most of the people, they are working remotely, so they look to the product which is support working remotely. Yeah. Okay, so you feel there are two things here, so sustainability and how to work remotely better. Yes. Right? All right. Uh, Mr. Pawan, so, so uh, already you mentioned sustainability, how to work uh, remotely better, but in the light of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, what changes have you offered? So, uh, are, are there, uh, do you agree with Mr. Pawan or with Mr. Mahmoud or do you think there are things different? Yeah, I agree with him completely. For the COVID-19, uh, this was a terrible period to talk about again. Uh, so basically from there, what has changed is because uh, gifting is actually mainly working for events. So events were not happening during COVID. You know? And post-COVID, when Expo came in, there was a lot of demand um, actually coming back. And so many other products as you actually mentioned because sustainability is the goal of the local leadership as well. So uh, there's actually a huge demand for these products taken today. I do agree. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there are two things here that you have already mentioned, sustainability and uh, working from home, uh, working from here. Yes. Uh, Mr. Sam, do you think that uh, emotions okay, and emotional interconnection plays a major role in uh, gifting, uh, specifically in the, in the MENA region, anything specific for the MENA region, do you think that where emotions play a major role? Uh, when you actually use the product, then your the brand will be visible mo even more to your audience. So we're also trying to, you know, uh, come up with products that are, you know, more used, to some for, you know, working from home or for whatever aspect it is. Not what, uh, whatever needed in the Yeah, market. whatever needed, yeah, not just something that you give and they, people throw it away. We're trying to come up with, to give a gift that people actually use it in their everyday life. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you. Mr. Muhammad, first, do you agree uh, with what was already said? And do you think technology has changed uh, something in the industry? Of course, uh, let me say first, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for your time and thanks a lot for your idea. I totally agree for the gentleman. Uh, let's say first, uh, what we can say on the promotional items, there is a big awareness right now for most of the clients they start to think about promotional items. Promotional item is part of the one of the marketing tools. And I can say that well, there is one case study has been uh, talked about it, uh, last year. It was about how is the importance of gift and promotional items comparing to the other uh, marketing tools. Let's say comparing to the digital marketing or social media. Maybe I can get a pen, say, let's say a year in my office. Then a promotional item is very important. About the trend, as you guys mentioned right now, one of the trends, of course, is sustainability, as uh, Mr. Mahmoud, Mr. Bar, Mr. Sam said. 
sustainability is very important, and that is really the trend right now, plus technology. How many hours we are carrying our phone daily? Let's say a minimum, we are carrying our phone at 10 hours or 12 hours. What do you think? If I give you an guess related to your phone, then most probably you are going to use it. Either a promotional, like a power bank, or either some technology part as well. And with the Dubai government, last two years ago, they have been something called a paperless, no more paper. Then we have been created one of the notebooks, it's called a digital notebook. Whatever you are writing, it comes directly to your mobile. We try to be, as we are in Dubai, we try to be trained as Dubai is. That is really the promotional item right now in the market. It's a big challenge to keep it changing and big challenge to keep really improvement and design and development. But that is our job right now. We try to be friends as Dubai friends in the world. That's really my, my view of the for uh, the trend. Thank you. Thank you for mentioning this, Muhammad. And you feel that, um, you feel that whatever the trend is, we have to uh, move forward as well. We have to change our offering to our, uh, to our uh, clientele. Okay, Mr. Pawan, wh what are the specific trends you think for the uh, MENA region, uh, UAE, KSA in particular? What are the things that you're observing that are maybe different from uh, other parts of, uh, of the world? People in this region are actually looking at value. So value can be created now Tech products are in demand a lot, you know, but tech, again, combined with sustainability, you know, uh, for example, a charger, which is not, uh, like on everyday use, but made out of bamboo and cork and, you know, sustainable materials. That is the, uh, like the current hot trend today. So people are looking at those kind of products which they have been using every day, but it was actually made of plastic, but now it's changed to material which is more sustainable. So that kind of value is what is in demand today. So merging of uh, things which are made with sustainable materials is, is the future which we see here. Okay. Um, and let, let's go back to uh, uh, Mr. Mahmoud. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you agree on, uh, like, we need maybe sometimes we need to involve technology, but at the same time it should be sustainable? And any specific product in mind that your company has developed that maybe actually uh, juggle between technology and uh, uh, and sustainability. See, I agree. Like uh, we we have to give something with sustainability and related to the technology. Okay, which is help like let us say the end user. Okay, to use it to to get it as a free. Okay, and and uh, as a gift item. Okay. Not, not to buy it, okay? It's a something to free, but it's a helpful. Like, uh, let us say, when you get the speaker, okay, speaker or phone stand, it helps you to do like a Zoom meeting, okay? And it will be like a great if it's made from sustainable products. Like, we have like one of the products, like it's a, it's a speaker with an isolator, okay? And uh, you can use it for Zoom meeting. This is one. And uh, we have like a, uh, a phone stand holders, uh, some of recycled notebooks, coloring books. Uh, yeah, this, this is what we have. Like, so, uh, so also it's about mindfulness. Like, uh, coloring books help people yeah. to uh, be more. Yeah? So, something for kids, so they grow up and they think about sustainability. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But also it can be something for uh, older. Uh, uh, right, yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, Mr. Sam, anything specific you want to mention regarding uh, some products that uh, your company has developed uh, that could match sustainability, technology, or both? Um, yeah, I mean, our company is also following the global trend. With, we are visiting the sh shows in Europe, in China, everywhere, always looking for, you know, new technologies mixed with sustainability. So we're always looking to that product. And even this year, we've introduced uh, more than 50, 60 new products our uh, catalog, which almost 80% are sustainable, from uh, chargers, you know, power banks, sta a, lot, a lot of stationaries, we're selling lots of stationaries that are, you know, eco-friendly, sustainable, a lot of uh, drinkware, a lot of bags, so we're, even all our new collection is towards the same goal of uh, sustainability. All right. And now, how uh, is it difficult to differentiate yourself from uh, from competitors when everyone is now working in sustainability? <laughs> Sorry, you got the toughest question. <laughs> I mean, it's a very big uh, competitive market. We're, we're all competitors, but we're all okay. friends too. So it's a big market.
market and we, everybody is going to get their own share. Okay. Uh, so um, we try to be creative as much as we can, but everybody else is doing the same thing. So, uh, okay. I mean, like, did I answer your question? <laughs> 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 no. Okay, kind of. Well, I'll get you phase when we're done with okay. it. <laughs> okay, well, Mr. Muhammad, there was uh, the, this uh, campaign. Uh, I was a bottle, uh, right? So, can you tell us more about this campaign? Thank you very much, John, for that question. Uh, to be honest, guys, sustainability is a big word. It's a big umbrella. Uh, sustainability is maybe it can be a recycled paper or it's maybe some items biodegradable. Then we have been created a campaign this year it's called I Was a Bottle. We have been got all the plastic bottles and we create from the plastic bottles our own Arabic material. What Arabic means is a recycled pet bottle. We love to see glass bottle over here. But we don't like to see the pet bottles. How many pet bottles, like as a special, like for myself, I'm using, before I'm using my water bottle, I'm really using around 10 plastic bottles daily. Just imagine that if I just throw the 10 plastic bottles daily, where it will go? Of course, to the ocean. And it will affect to our mother earth. We have to think positive. From this, we have to create our needs. We create something really different. There is a bag it's called um, I was a bottle. Like the bag is said that I was a bottle. From the bag, we have been created from the material, not box, bottles, uh, bags, uh, pouches. From this, we have been really try to awareness or educate a little bit our clients what sustainable means. That is really the campaign. Uh, yesterday, while we are opening the show, the minister, uh, Dr. Sani, he is the foreign trader minister, he came yesterday and we introduced him the concept. He said he really loves this company in Dubai think with this way. And he said being COP28, I just talked to John about this right now. We said being COP28, he made a call by guys, this company should be COP28 this year. I mean, you, everyone knows the COP28, right? Yeah. Because that is the biggest event Dubai is going to carry. And by the way, 2023 is a sustainable year of UE. The only government call it 2023 exactly sustainable uh, year. Then to support, again I'm saying, to support and cut, I mean, be on the line with the global trend, with the local trend as well, we are supporting sustainability, able to support our clients, to educate our clients what sustainable means, and to keep options to our clients. Because when I say sustainable recycling, the clients don't like to see recycling anymore. Because recycling is very common. It's there, by the way, more than 20 years. The clients you see, you need to see the trends, the unique, the fashion trends with sustainability. From here, we have been start our artist material. We have been create the material that has five different colors, then it's really a fashion. You can carry the bags, it looks really amazing. It's not just a bag, it's not that fashion, then I'm going to support the sustainability. That is really the, the, the challenge. How we can be sustainable and at the same time to be a fashion. I'm going to carry a laptop bag, it's an amazing laptop bag, but still I'm supporting my mother head. That is the very big challenge we have been really to work on it. Plus, the technology, as I mentioned, we have been created the first three in one while it's running notebook, and we make a pattern of this, like something really useful. Not just a given a gift, you give it to someone. We are thinking how really the client is going to use the gift. Uh, we are still using the gift by ourselves. It's pretty useful. We are going to do the problem with the item as well. That is the uh, point. Thank you. Thank you, Muhammad. So, so Mr. Muhammad mentioned this uh, uh, mixture between, okay, we need to be sustainable and at the same time friendly, right? Because we're, we're, we're in Dubai. Okay? And Mr. Bawan mentioned the value, that there is always a value. And uh, the last question will be for, uh, for all of you guys. How do we define value today? How do we understand our client's value? What is value uh, for us? Uh, who wants to start? Uh, like, how do, like, uh, how do, how do we, how do we yeah, define value? Uh, as, as they have mentioned by all of us, in terms of the current trends is what, what actually customers value the most, you know, so all the, uh, like what we are selling is everyday products, right? We are selling charging cables, we are selling chargers, mm -hmm. we are selling power banks, bottles and you know, mugs, which are everyday use products. So what we are uh, actually, uh, like the customers looking at value is these, these same items made of sustainable materials. So that is the value which a customer today, in my point of view, we are looking at. And which is what we are trying to bridge the gap from our end, being traders in this market, to, to actually bring in products which 
which customers value today. Because the, uh, like this is what we are seeing the trends as we mentioned by Sam as well. When we travel to uh, to China and other places, the factories are also making these products. That means the trend is just not uh, local; it's global trend. So, uh, so that's the value for the international customer as well. So also, it's not only about the product itself, but how the product is manufactured Absolutely. as well. Because Absolutely. now clients are more aware. And Same product which we've been using, but now made of sustainable material is what the, the key thing is, you know. So things have been there from hundreds of years, you know, the, like these things. But now they're changing. Now okay. they're changing the things which, which are more sustainable. So uh, like as you, as you mentioned, uh, you know, the, like the bottle existed, but now more glass is being acceptable rather than plastic. You know? exactly. So that's the value which a customer, in my uh, like my point of view, is looking at today. All right. Right. Yeah, the value might be like uh, how many times I use this product daily, how many times I uh, use it. Like, yeah. uh, what is the benefit of this product? Uh, do I need this product? Like, is it available everywhere or I get it as a gift and it's a unique? This is which is give the things value also. Is it something I will keep on the shelf or yes. is something or I'm going Or I will use it. So the utility. quality and every day I have to use them. Exactly. And even in corporate gifting, people now, they want something that they can actually use, not, not to keep on the shelf. Because like the area is okay. getting smaller and tighter and there is no space uh, anymore. Uh, um, I also agree with them, but on top of that, we are trying to add value by branding those uh, sustainable products. Yes, the product is sustainable, but we are trying to add new technologies and new ways of branding on the sustainable product. So when the customers are actually buying them, they are also associating their brands with sustainability. So that's, that's okay. also an addition for them. So we are also, you know, on top of what they said, I agree totally, but we are trying to also find new ways of branding to associate with sustainability more. So we talked about the product itself, we talked about its utility, how it's being manufactured and the branding of the product and how it's associated uh, to the brand itself. Thank you, Mr. Hamad. Mr. Hamad, anything else you want to add when it comes to value? I totally agree that three point diamonds and that's really appreciated. Also, Sam, he get a good point about the branding. I have one more point here, the quality of the items. Mm. Why we are doing promotional item, guys? to show the brand, right? You are carrying a cap, it has the logo. The, the importance of the promotional item, it was the brand. Where is the logo is? Just imagine that, um, I got on a cable with one of the hotels, it has been happening with me, one of the big five star hotels. I tried to use the cable, it doesn't work. Then it's affecting on the reputation of the hotel brand itself. Then the value here it will be the quality of the item. Is this really the item I'm using? It's really quality. What about the lifetime of the items? Mm. It's really saying I'm using a power bank, so two, three times, then after that, it's really not working. It doesn't make sense. Then what we are thinking about is to get quality item because it's add value to the I add life, sorry, to the, the, the item itself. And where is the value is? I am sure when I give you a power bank, it works for two, three years, my logo is dead. That is really the value. The value of the promotional item. Don't forget that promotional item. The main is the branding. The main, we keep our logos there. Then the value, the quality of the item. And how is, the, how, how is really the life of the item is going to stay with the client. Thank you. Guys, anything else you want to add before we open uh, the space for questions? Anything specific? Anything? All right. Yeah, so now we have a uh, few questions. Uh, is there a mic? Yes, we yes. can start. Can we have here. a microphone here at the front, please? Yes. Thank you. Here. We have a question to Omar. To government, uh, for its sustainability, upgrading, or learning to see the sustainability. The corporate gifting can be converted into government gifting by giving a gift to the people who are in need the sustainable product. I can give you an example. Uh, the shower gel, the normally used by the people in hotels and table star and five star, they are known regenerative or non sustainable. They are made from the crude, uh, uh, basic raw material. Like instead of that, if you have a soap, which is made from acid from fat, that is oil, which is 100% regenerative and recyclable. So a gel can be made from 
took and promoted through government gifting to people not using the crude uh, crude oil bag then like that the government gifting culture can be developed in the UAE what do you think about it it's a very good question 100% this can be 100% because right now the clients really they are well they are open mind they are willing to accept whatever we are going to offer we'll say guys instead of plastic bottles just use this bottle just to save as you mentioned very good question like instead of a big shower gel i can get natural soap and move it to the shower gel they are open right now to buy they are moving forward to sustainability what we can say with the government yeah one more thing is that whenever you use a shower gel or a soap is associated with the sort of a fragrance or perfume like a perfume which is based on or fragrance which is based on wood oil or grass oil can be used which are 100% recyclable instead of again the perfumes which are made from crude oil based. like uh, i give example of uh, wood oil is a tender wood oil and grass oil uh, like a lemon grass oil or a citron citron oil like grass oil so these are all natural oils can be incorporated in the soap and then can be promoted and promotion has to be done by government gifting that's i say to mix up those kind of things with the promotional item it can be an option by the way in europe we love to get a soup you know the natural soup they are using it very well like i find an orchard i was in the france and there is one factory for soup that they get one million for mercedes then of course if this kind of idea can be one of the promotional items of course and the clients are open mind as i mentioned they are looking for something different they are saying keep away from uh, power bank and then they need something really different It can be an option. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, is there another question from the audience? Any other yes. questions? Yes. 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 Who, who wants to uh, take this question? How, how emotions actually help us to create a higher value for the uh, for the product? Yeah, we will we will take uh, both of you. Let's uh, start so with the count. In terms of emotion, how they are connected? Basically, with the logo or their own name or whatever personalization of a product is basically an emotion which I think you know when you see your own logo on a product. You get emotional and get connected to that product. So that's the value proposition which you create through personalization of a gift. Okay, that this is from the corporate. Uh, yeah, in like even a corporate. When I in like if I'm a brand owner and I see a product uh, with my logo on it, I, I get more connected to that rather than just a blank uh, product, you know, which is kept on the table. So okay. there is when I see my colors and my logos and you know my like my messaging on it, that's an emotional connect for me as a brand owner. compared to just a blank product okay thank you thank you so much mr mahmood like uh, when it goes to the branding of the product like it has to be like a small area of the logo like it has been to show everyone there is a logo like just to the one who gets it to understand that it came from a company it has to be like it can't be like a, a car this one complimentary car is coming from this company x company this one uh second this product can i get it like when i get it can like uh i have been to go specially to buy it like no one of us will go specially to the mall to buy a cable it's, it's a thing which if you will not go like uh, uh to have a trip to buy a cable or to buy a usb or to buy a seed pencil but you will be more than happy if you receive a seed pencil to use it and after to you will give it to someone and to tell him he you can grow plants okay yes emotion i can give you a gift with my logo but what do you think if you see your gift with your personal name you love it right that is the emotion we have to think how we can keep really the gift giving gift is something once i give you a gift you will smile right that is really the gift what Add value to the guest. Add the personalized guys. If you are going to think about promotional items, try to add your fingerprint on it. If you know who your client is, try to add his personalized name. He will love your guest, and he will never lose it. It has his own brand. It has his own name on that. That is the emotion with the guest. Hope it's uh, to that good answer for you guys. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you, Muhammad. Uh, guys, any other questions? Do we have any other questions? I know I was out. What I would like to yeah. see change is, you know, I'm an MC, so I do many, many events. What I see coming all the time is that award. You know that same trophy award that keeps coming back. What can we do about that? How can we make that more different? Yeah, yeah, a different I, award. Well, Who's going to come up with it? Since you are the supplier, I am ready for the answer, guys. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, by the way, yesterday, what happened in paper wallet? You have a winner and a very big party. And they put on a very good trophy. And they put Muhammad if they come. Then I went yesterday and they give a trophy. But trophy has meaning. Trophy, we have worked very well. We have been created. A trophy, not just a glass or crystal, you just keep it on the shelf. No. We have been changed the, really, the world of trophy. Uh, you know, uh, Oscar Award in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia is in our region. We have something called Joy Award. Joy Award started three years ago with Turkey Ali Sheikh, and we create for them very nice trophy from resin material with metal and crystal. And when you see the logo, we give the award with the very concept. They love it. They give it to Jackie Chan, they give it to all the superstars in the world of life. They love it. That is the same concept you have been mentioned. It's never give you award and make a award with a story. Yesterday we give to paper wallet the pen because it's a paper wallet, and we make a metal with crystal, with resin material, we make a very nice trophy, fully customized trophy from scratch. But the trophy, it has a story. Once you see, yeah, it's a paper wallet. Once you see that, it's a joy award. Then yeah. now we really solve it out the issue. I totally agree with you. But okay. what about a trophy with, uh, with you, like a charger? We have... The, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cable, the cable. Yeah, yeah. We have been... Sorry, we have been at NHT technology on the award. What's that? Once you touch your mobile, you'll get a full story for what is that award for? And who's awarded? Full story with NHT technology. You know NHT technology. Mm. Everyone has it on your mobile. How you are paying by Apple Pay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same NHT technology. We make a small tip on the trophy. Once I receive the trophy, I need to know the story and the history. Once I touch with mobile, everything is there. That to make the trophy with the technology. Very oh, I answer it. Everyone yeah. agrees with the. Yeah, we, we need to make that it, trophy. We, we need to make it more, with higher utility. That's yes, a trophy I, yeah. with utility. I like exactly. that. Exactly. And my last point that someone brought up here is uh, the culture of gifting is, is very big in the Middle East, of course. But what about country uh, companies who are not allowed to accept gifts? For example, North America and Europe, you cannot accept yeah. gifting. You cannot do gifting. Um, what do you think about that? Ah, this is different, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is a tough question. So what if you're, uh, let's say, a Scandinavian country in the Middle East? What do you do? You don't want to insult your Saudi Arabian client by not accepting his gift. But you also can't bring it to your office because you're going to get in big trouble. Sorry, I just want to put that out there. So you don't have to have an answer. <laughs> I mean, we are talking about corporate gifts. I but know. The I type of gifting we are talking about <laughs> is giving gifts. No, 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 but no, 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 no. in those situations, there is a budget to it, right? So we would kind of tweak uh, something around that budget and kind of make that person happy by giving something. So I guess under 10 dirhams. Yeah, exactly. What's allowed? <laughs> uh, okay. yeah, we were working in the allowance. Very good, very good. By the way, yes. that's coming on the pharma company. Most of the pharmaceutical companies right now, we are not going to use the gas. Then we come up with something else. What we have, we have a brand for uh, perfume, and we give them, guys, we'll give you a card, gift card. That gift card it has 1,000 dirham value. You can buy any perfume from the shop. Then the card itself is just a value for the perfume, and you can select whatever the perfume is. Because most of the pharmaceutical companies, they are not allowed right now to use a promotion. We try to find a way, because at the end, corporate gift is very important for most of the companies. Yeah. We try to find a way. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Any other questions? One minute yes. to uh, bring the microphone to you. So, when we were discussing about the awards, I was very happy with uh, yesterday's function order you mentioned. Uh, there is a chance of virtual awards. Uh, working is done in some countries abroad. Do you have any idea about that virtual award? 
virtual award. How we can mix the AI with the, you mean with the just the promotional items? Virtual, the VR. Virtual. Yeah. Yeah, I, I. You, you got it exactly the one, what you you, you mean the VR, the virtual reality? The VR, the, VR the, the virtual reality. How we can use virtual reality for awards, right? In guessing, right? For awards, for specifically, award. yeah. How we can use the virtual reality with the awards? It's, it's, it's yeah. we, we will get back to you next year. We will do the okay, we'll for the next year. And then, and then, okay. Uh, so, guys, I think uh, that's it. That's it. Guys, big round of applause for our panelists. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, so that was fantastic. That's it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.